hey besties welcome back to another video and if you're new here hi my name is tamina and this is the introduction to my new series called my 20s which is highly inspired by Haley fam but before we get into everything i want to say in this video i think we need an introduction like a proper one my name is tamina semo i live in kenya i am awaiting to graduate um, from law school i did four years of law school as my bachelor's degree and on top of that i'm also a social media content creator on youtube and on instagram more so on instagram i'm just now starting to catch up on youtube and yeah i'm also a gen z and that's the whole focus of this video not really but kinda and basically we needed that introduction so that i can give context for everything else i'm going to say so who is a gen z i feel like that's a question we need to answer because these days the word gen z is thrown around so much for anything that attracts disapproval it's automatically labeled gen z so a person who belongs to the category of a gen z is someone who's born between the years of 1997 to 2012. now before that we had millennials who were born between 1981 to about 1996 and then before that we had generation x which are basically the parents of either like millennials or gen z's and before that we had boomers two and then boomers one so that's basically it you automatically belong to the category of gen z whether you like it or not as long as you're born between 1997 to 2012 now the reason i've titled this video my 20s as a gen z is because gen z's are notorious for one specific thing and that is questioning all if not most of the normative societal standards or normative societal culture as we've known it since our parents and their parents before that like gen z's came and said you've been doing stuff like this okay i'm gonna do the complete opposite and that's why most things done by gen z's attract so much disappointment approval because this is not how we've always done things this is not how you do things this is not how you you know build your path to success and that's why gen z actions attract so much disapproval because it's so far from what was done back in the day that everyone is just shocked <laughs> So let's talk about that and let's apply it to my life so i'm going to give you a bit of my life history and how i turned out how i am now basically so i feel like from primary even high school there was a very clear path on how you get to success and there was also a very intense template on how you get to this success and you would hear generation x like our parents say things like suffer now so that you can enjoy life later suffer now so that your life later is so good you have so much success and then you actually enjoy it if you don't suffer now you're going to suffer later so i'll give you a bit of context in primary school i remember we used to wake up by around 4 30 4 45 i would be at the bus stop by maybe 5 or like 5 15 and i'd be in school by around 5 30 5 45 to begin my day and there would always be a morning lesson sometimes at that like 5 45 till like 6 and that's when we'd go for break and then we'd have lessons in the day and at the end of a long day we would have more tuition at the end where we would be tutored from like 5 to 6 and then we'd go home this is primary school Fast forward to high school, the same intense template. Because you know, what were we trying to do in primary school? We were trying our hardest to get good marks so that we can be able to get to a good high school. Now, here's the thing. The template worked because for me, in the end, I got to a really good school. So in Kenya, what happens is that in high schools, they rank the average marks of every school and then they rank you according to, let's say, top 100 in the country. And I got into the school that was always first or second in this rankings. So as you can imagine, this was a big deal. So it's like, you see, when you worked hard and you made sacrifices and you suffered in primary school, you got to a good high school. And also in high school, as you can imagine, now I'm in a school that ranks first in the country. It's more intense than primary school ever was. The timetable is intense. The routine is intense. Um, it's 
now more imperative than ever to get good grades so that you can be able to do the course that you want and when you do this course that you want you're going to get a good job and then you're going to be rich so high school was also just as intense um the routine was very intense we would be up maybe by three um there was a lot of hardships at this school like we'd wake up fetch water and then we would do like a million and one exams in little days just to prove how prepared we are for these exams that are coming and it was just so intense and i feel like my whole life it was like you have to have a very intense routine there was a very intense template to get to this success you had to make lots of sacrifices as our parents said suffer now so that you can enjoy later and this is all i knew because then again this template worked I got good marks in KCSE, that's the final exam um, in high school in Kenya, and I was able to get marks that, you know, I could study law in uni now. And you see, they tell you, you see, when you make sacrifices, when you suffer, because I remember my whole high school life was just mainly suffering. I don't remember enjoying much. I don't remember enjoying um, my childhood during that time or my teenagehood during that time because I remember I was talking to my friend later and they were telling me how they were doing all sorts of things in high school and this, this and that and I was so confused because the memories I have of high school were working so hard to get good grades so that I could be able to study the course I wanted and I knew that my suffering was worth it because you know in the end I'm going to study a course I want to study and get into a good university. Okay now that you have a bit of a background of the template of success that I've always known since I was young, I'd like to give you a bit of the Gen Z idea of success. So Gen Z's questioned everything. It's like, suffer now, enjoy later. Gen Z's were asking, why suffer now? Why can't I enjoy now and still enjoy later? You know what I mean? So Gen Z's completely don't agree with the idea most gen z's anyway don't agree with the idea of suffering now completely in order to get success later they also don't agree with the idea of the traditional career path to get success gen z's have come up with their own new jobs so have millennials as well anyway they've come up with their own untraditional um jobs such as content creation this and that and they're just shocking the masses and that's why most of their ideas are attracting so much disapproval because this is just not the way things have been done and it's like what's gonna happen if you don't have a degree and you just decide to content create you know what i mean so i'm now in a weird position not really a weird position i guess it's still a good position where i have done the degree i have done the bachelor's in law okay but at the same time i'm also a social media content creator it doesn't get any more gen z than that so it's like i'm about to have the degree but at the same time i'm on this untraditional career path and now where i'm struggling is what template do i apply am i applying the suffer now enjoy later template that has a rigid routine intense timetable or am i applying and the thing is i've always known that template to work but then you're not as happy as you're going through this routine or when you're applying this template like happiness zero success rate high you know or do i apply the new template or the new path to success where it's like you can enjoy now and you still can enjoy later like the path does not have to be riddled with suffering and intense routines and all that they said we need to do in order for us to succeed because for me it's like i only know of the intense template i only know of the intense routines to success because that's what's worked for me i've never applied this other routine where i can you know still be happy still have some self-discovery still have some self-love still have time to um, explore my hobbies and learn new things and at the same time be able to achieve the type of success i want and you know what's even worse is when I apply this new, you can enjoy now and enjoy later um, template to success, I feel like I'm failing. I feel like when I rest, 
when I enjoy, it's like I feel guilty because it's like I've not earned it because, you know, what I've been programmed to think is that you need to have an intense routine and you need to, you know, to go hard all the time and suffer in order to succeed. So when I have like a lax routine and I'm like relaxing, I'm enjoying, I'm like working on my self-love, I'm discovering new things, I'm just like having a very like simple routine i feel like i'm failing automatically because i'm not applying the template that i'm supposed to be applying or the template that i was taught to apply in order to succeed so what am i going to do then like what's the solution here as a gen z in my 20s because they say these are your best years you know these are your best years so what's the solution here I was thinking about this and I was reflecting back to my first history lesson in high school. And I remember the first objective of studying history, because I studied history, was always to learn from the successes and the mistakes of the past um, historians, like the people who lived in the past. And this resonated with me because it was like, History is there to teach us that there were some successes, but there were also some mistakes. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the successes and apply them to our era now. At the same time, we're going to learn from the mistakes that were made in the past. And I feel like some of the mistakes that were made in the past was definitely assuming that on the road to success, you have to suffer completely and that there's no space for any happiness and there's no space for any self-love or any space for enjoying. And so for me, I feel like what I'm going to do is I feel like applying both templates radically is not going to work for me. Like I cannot just decide I'm going to suffer now to succeed. But at the same time, I can't decide that I'm not going to make any sacrifices and I'm just going to enjoy now so that I can enjoy later. I feel like I'm going to apply a balance of the two and I need to find a place where the two intersect, where I can balance. And that's the only way that's going to work for me because I have a lot of programming that i need to deal with and i need to like reprogram my mind um and that's what i'm going to be doing in this series i'm just going to be showing you guys how i navigate life as a gen z in my 20s and how i'm navigating doing a traditional career path and also an untraditional career path especially now that i've decided that i'm not going to take up a job or an internship while i wait to graduate as so many of my other very inspiring friends have done i've been hearing my friends getting jobs and i've been so happy for them and it's almost like they're actually doing what they studied to do and that's so cool that's actually so impressive and i'm inspired by it every day but i've also decided that my path is unique and i also need to just have confidence in my path and the uniqueness of my path as well and that's what i'm going to do it might be a mistake we will obviously make mistakes on the way because everything the pressure to achieve and overachieve comes from fear like fear of failing yourself failing your parents but we're going to go through all those motions because guess what you kind of have to fail to succeed you kind of have to make mistakes in this journey of life and that's what we're going to be watching through me i'm saying we but that's what i'm going to be filming that's what i'm going to be documenting and yeah you're welcome to my new series my 20s i'm very excited for it thank you so much for watching this video tell me your thoughts on everything i've said and we'll discuss in the comments and yeah i have this cool new speaker which i borrowed it's not even mine but it makes me feel so cool in this talking videos and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye besties